Welcome everyone uh, to another FU Money. Just um, a few words before we go to the charts. Uh, yesterday was a very nice day for Bitcoin. We, for the first time, we passed, we broke the 60k level. Uh, so that's the first time in history that Bitcoin goes to 60k. We are now just a bit below 60k, but I'm sure this will be temporary because I'm still very bullish long term. Um, also, we broke the 1000 followers on Twitter. And of course, when you break 1000 followers, there's a probability, a very big chance that you start to get some trolls too. So yesterday I had a few um words exchange with uh, with this guy this troll that was uh, really trying to offend and and uh, you know just discredit everything he write on twitter but the problem is solved now so this guy is blocked so i'm just i'm just um i'm just trying to get your attention to this fact because uh, sometimes you get some trolls and you have to get rid of them so um don't mind any any things that happen uh, i still think that we are going so now going back to bitcoin i still think that we are going um, too high too fast i think um, it's a bit unsustainable if we continue to do that and i'm going to show you um, in the charts what's happening but anyway, as any good trader with good management skills for the portfolio, for so money management skills, I have a HODL position and then I have several trading positions. Uh, my HODL position, of course, is untouchable, so I never, I never touch it by, you know, only if some really big emergency happens and I need, uh, I need to touch that position. Um, I only touch my trading positions and uh, so uh, yesterday those um, that troll was trolling me because I said that I um, I shorted Bitcoin when it got to 60,500 and of course some people you know if you short Bitcoin because you're a trader uh, it doesn't mean you don't want Bitcoin to go um, to 200k this year and uh, half a million in two years or three years. It just means that you have to catch every opportunity you have to basically make money. That's what a trader does. A trader makes money. And it, a trader makes money when the asset goes up and the trader makes money when the asset goes down. So, of course, um, I was predicting that we would have uh, some kind of retracement after uh, hitting 60K. So I shorted Bitcoin for a while in the short term, of course. Um, I also was able to move my stop loss to the break even point. And with that said, I didn't make any money in that short that I started when Bitcoin was at 60,500. However, uh, today I shorted again, uh, not today, just close to midnight of today, I shorted again, and this time I'm making money and I am already with my stop loss below the, the price where I opened this position. So having, you know, shorting an asset, um, it doesn't mean you don't like the asset. It means that as a trader, you believe in the short term, this asset maybe is going a bit down and you can make money if that happens. So that's what a trader does. My other, you know, <laughs> it's like being bipolar. So I have this uh, trader personality, then I have a hodler personality. And in this case, of course, I'm not touching my huddle position. So it doesn't mean that I don't believe in Bitcoin. It doesn't mean that uh, I think that Bitcoin is going to zero. It's nothing like that. I'm just uh, trying to catch every opportunity to make some money. And, and that's why I shorted Bitcoin close to uh, midnight yesterday. Today at midnight, sorry. 
and I'm, I'm already in the positive side and my stop loss if it gets hit I make money so you know when these trolls just come to your Twitter and and start to attack you because you shorted the asset that they believe is uh, some kind of god or something it's really weird when this happens because uh, you know people judge you because of something you are not and so I had to solve the problem but that's now the problem is now solved this troll was banned from my Twitter and I hope you guys understand so that said let's go to the charts okay I'm gonna start today I'm gonna start with the price to time model um, so as you can see here I'm going to I'm going to use another uh, strategy here so I, I'm already zooming the, the you know the browser so that you can see a bit better what's happening on the chart but every time I have something I want to show you with really uh, big detail then I'm going to zoom in and zoom out from that um, from that part of the chart so as you can see here um, <coughs> sorry the price action is above the exponential um, line you know what I consider the limit to a healthy and sustainable rise to the top the previous two times this happened we had a correction as you can see here and here and now we are again going above this line so I'm you know uh, I'm a bit uh, you know my my feelings are a bit mixed because I believe that every time we go above this line some kind of correction will occur but maybe the market is going you know too irrational or maybe just FOMO coming in and in this case when FOMO comes in and the, all the institutional buyers and, and all that comes in you know it becomes something like this and it may be sustainable at, uh, to some degree but I believe at some point if we cross this line too much to the, to the upside <coughs> something something bad could happen okay so let's go to the other chart today the second chart we are going to see um, the MRI strategy so let's start with the monthly chart tell me let me just ask you guys a question do you see anything wrong here in this chart let me give you guys a hint do you see anything wrong with this chart and then another hint and another hint and then another hint do you guys think anything is wrong here because you know for as much as I love Bitcoin and I want Bitcoin to go to the moon as everyone else this is way overextended this is way overextended and if we don't find some kind of support uh, after a small retracement after a small correction here bad things can happen okay so I just wanted to highlight that it's nothing wrong with this chart this chart is completely bullish but you know I've been here since uh, before 2017 and I've seen this happen before so I'm just you know I'm not saying anything bad again I don't want any trolls to come back to my Twitter and start you know offending and then trying to discredit but I've seen this before in 2017 it's not pretty when it goes down so if we don't find some way you know if Bitcoin doesn't start to become like a sustainable rise to the top uh, something bad can happen and you already know what that is so let me just move this out of the way remove this and remove that and remove that and remove that okay so this is the monthly chart so let's go to the weekly real quick okay this looks a lot more sustainable I would like to see this 
this kind of chart, I would like to see it in the monthly chart. Um, you know, when it goes exponential, correction, goes exponential, correction, goes exponential, correction, and so forth. So this would be much more uh, sustainable and rational if this was the monthly chart that we were seeing here. So nothing to say. Weekly, we are still on the 6 of 9 uh, green candle. Everything looks fine. Bullish chart. Nothing to say. Let's go to the daily. The daily chart, and now here, here comes uh, the first signal that I was watching yesterday and I was expecting already. So the daily chart is already on a daily top. So we have the MRI top here. I got the warning on this green candle yesterday. That's when I made my first short at 60,500. Then expecting some kind of retracement even yesterday before you know the close of this candle but the retracement started to come today so today we have an MRI top and an extension C so both together should as you know as the MRI indicates uh, should um, signal a retracement uh, starting on this candle at least a one to four candle correction uh on the daily so that means that today monday tuesday and wednesday we could see the price go down maybe find some support at previous levels but i'm going to discuss the levels on the next chart and you know it's still the rsi is going back down uh, below the overextended the macd is converging and there's a lighter green um, <clears throat> bar here we are still we are still very high on the funding rate on bitmax uh, this is the daily chart i should check the one hour chart but anyway the daily chart for now it's okay and we can check it later the one hour chart but it's still very high maybe the one hour chart will show us that at this point we are below the red line which is my you know my limit for um over funding rate so which is dot 11. okay so everything so for now uh, looking at the daily chart i just expect a one to four candle correction maybe not so big as I was predicting before but in any case some kind of correction for two three four candles so the four hour chart okay so we had the correction here okay we have a red star this indicates that the price is going down um, although the this uh, this candle just turned green in the last few minutes so it just came up a bit uh i see i see i see, well you know i see some kind of bearish divergence here let's let's try here so the price going up the price is going up and then the volume is coming down sorry i felt that there okay so yeah so this is a bearish divergence the price was going up here now it's at the same level but the volume the volume is worrying me a bit because the volume is going down so there are no bears no bulls no one is trying to make a move also in the four hour chart we have the MACD is crossing over to the downside although the funding rate looks looks better than yesterday because the funding rate is now below the dot 11 uh, point uh -huh. and this oscillator here also going down so this is the Fisher difference from the exponential moving average 
which was created just uh, some time ago by Socrates, but I'm already using it and trying to understand how it works in its full potential. But for now, I'm just trying to compare it with the other oscillators I have here. So, okay, so we have, I, I see some some bearish divergence here on the volume and the price also the rsi so if the price goes up from here and the volume continues to go down and the rsi continues to be sideways or down that's a bearish divergence although this is the short term so let's look again at the daily chart just to confirm okay Let's remove that. Let's remove this. Yep. Yeah. So you can see here that it's a bit more visible. You see the price going down. Something like that. And you see Bitcoin going up like that. So that's a bearish divergence right there, and it's it doesn't look good to me. But you know, yesterday all the all the indicators were were just uh, indicating that you know the bearish signals, and now I just uh, checked this bearish divergence also. So let's see what happens. Okay, going back to the four hour chart, I think everything is uh, seen here. Let's just go to the one hour chart and check the funding rate. Okay, the funding rate looks good below the dot 11 level. Uh, the MACD going down, RSI going down, we just, you know, just a smidge here going up again because of this green candle. Mm -hmm. So we, I guess we found a temporary support here on the, so this is the 50, 50 moving average, 50 period moving average, and we are trying to go a bit back up. Mm -hmm. Okay, well this is a double bottom here on the oscillator, yeah, this one and that one, okay. So let's move on to the pro indicator strategy chart. So basically here I can highlight the levels that I'm expecting. So we hit the top of the context, the context box of resistance here, almost the top, the indicator uh, gave us the bearish uh, signals, you know, the red triangle, the red square, and also the line here which is drawn plotted by the indicator not me the only thing here as i said before in other videos the only thing I'd, i've drawn in this chart was this dashed line and the yellow orange boxes with the range boundaries all the rest is the indicator that plots so i'm expecting a first retracement level around the first range boundary level which coincides with the price there. Okay, so this is one of the first levels I'm expecting. The price could go down to around 58. However, this is not a really strong support, as you can see by the volume here on the right. I would consider a bit more the 57 level a bit stronger. We can just move this line. So this would be a much stronger level here. Then <coughs> we have another level of support. This one is really weak, really weak support here. The volume is really low. So I would consider the next level of support here around 52, 51. Okay, let me just move the line there. So this would be, yeah, 51 and a half, 52. This would be another level of support for Bitcoin going down. Uh, probably 
this would this would be a really nice place for a retracement and then going back up retesting this resistance breaking the resistance and going and break the third range boundary from there the momentum is uh, telling me that we are turning back down so we are short-term bearish also in the sine wave and momentum as i said before in the other charts the volume is going down too so i'm expecting some kind of retracement here 257 or even 52.51 so okay I, I don't want to make this video uh, very long you already know that I'm expecting the let me just you know go back to the main screen so I'm expecting the formation of a fourth range boundary this could come from this retracement that is now starting as you've seen before on the chart the third range boundary is still not yet confirmed let me just go back for a minute and show you that I can zoom in here for you to see that this line the line here that goes down this yellow diagonal line is dashed so this means the third range boundary is still not confirmed and going back so basically I'm waiting for the confirmation of a third range boundary we are already at the top of the context the resistance is very high here um, the indicators are turning back down for at least some short-term bearish move and we have two levels of support that we should watch for which is the 57 and the 52 51 um, so that's it um, don't forget to hit the like button on the video and share subscribe and share with your friends if you enjoy the content and you think it's nice or at least quality content and um, let me see if I forgot something I guess not oh by the way I have a new um, I have a new uh, thing running down there on the corner so if you want to uh, you know join my social networks um, uh, platforms I'm on Instagram uh, you've seen it here just going going away right now <laughs> um also on twitter and also on youtube so you can subscribe on these uh, three platforms which i regularly post uh, some stuff and that's it i hope to see you on the next video and bye bye